Battery storage control, coach, chassis. This is a 2008 Hurricane 33 foot Class A. The problem is when I'm traveling, no AC, no generator, I don't have any 12 volt lights. I can't flush the commode because the pump won't work. Slides won't open. You know, if you're sitting parked without electricity. So, here's the deal. That little box down there is what controls your 12 volts, that little genie thing. Anyway, you see two outputs down there, negative and positive. One is going right there, you're negative. Positive is going here. There's two red wires. One is gonna go to your feed right here for your breakers, which powers everything, okay? The other little red wire is your battery feed when you don't have AC or generator. It's going up to the front of the engine. I'm gonna show you. The problem is, this switch here on the right, when you're parking somewhere and you want to disconnect your batteries so it doesn't drain, to me that's useless. I mean, unless you're going to store it a long time, nobody needs that switch. So my fix right now, I'm going to bypass this switch. I don't need this stupid switch. It's cutting off the flow from my storage batteries right there underneath, which goes up to a solenoid, then goes back to what I just showed you to feed the lights and everything. So my battery is stopping right there because of this stupid switch has got a solenoid that is defective. It stays open. I'm not getting my battery. So I'm going to show you how to uh, bypass that. Very simple. It takes five minutes. Open this thing up and you'll see this here. Okay, you take the cover off. That's your solenoid. See that right there? That's the solenoid that's defective. I don't feel like ripping this off and playing with this right now, so I'm gonna just bypass it. And here's what you do. You have battery there, you have battery on top, two of them, and there's a battery. Now, I already did this. See how there's two on here? There's only supposed to be one, but I took the one off of the, that one right there. All you gotta do is unscrew that, take the fat red wire off and put it down here with the skinny one because the skinny one here this is what goes in the back it goes underneath and all the way to the back to your converter to feed if you don't have AC this fat one here like I said this is coming from the bat your storage batteries down the side here how you tell you can either go disconnect them and see you lose power here you know to move the right one or you'll see it only has like 10 or 11 volts and the others have like 12 or 13. So all you really have to do to fix this problem is move the battery feed, which is going into the solenoid right there. Take it off of that, put them both together, marry them and put a screw on it and you're done. And if you want later, you can take this circuit board off and change that solenoid. But for me, I'm not bothering that right now. So hope this helps. God knows it helped me to figure it out. I just took a, a day to figure it all out and run, run the trouble and find out where I'm losing battery. And that's what it is. The switch is not connecting. It's always open. So good luck, Tony and Baton Rouge. Thank you.